G'day everyone, now I know that at the moment this studio space looks more like a dance studio, don't let that fool you, I need to give the disclaimer that I have zero full body coordination. Here are just a few little horrible dance impersonations that I can do. This is, this is the best that I can master on the spot, you ready? Uh, 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 tap dance. Uh, break dance. I ripped the plastic! Oh no! Uh, Russian dancing. You're waiting, is the foot out? Is the foot out? Ha! Ow! My quads! Uh, yeah, no, I, I'm incredibly out of shape and dancing is not my thing. There is one move, however, that I do consistently and I'm quite good at. This full body move is one I call impersonating myself as a cartoon avatar, jumping through a wall of paint cans and summoning my logo to stand beside me. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and today I'm going to be using some of the, wait, these Sharpies and other sized Sharpies. I have, I have the baby Sharpie. Oh, look at the little baby Sharpie. I have the, uh, the medium Sharpie. Oh, look at the medium Sharpie. And then I have the, uh, jump, jump. Jumbo Sharpie! I'm going to call it a Sharpie even though I got it from a dude all the shop and it's called the Extra Broad Jumbo Permanent Marker, but let's pretend it's a Sharpie for continuity in the title, otherwise it would be confusing to be correct. It doesn't matter. Now before we jump into today's activity, I want to take a moment to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Any of you who don't know, Skillshare is an amazing website where if you have a skill you want to learn or share, you can go there today and enjoy their thousands of courses on illustration, drawing, design, and more. There are courses on Skillshare I've enjoyed checking out that aren't related to illustration and design. Things like learning about the stock market or 3D printing. So if you have skills you want to learn or brush up on, I recommend going to Skillshare today. Use the link in the card and in the description to get two months of free premium Skillshare membership so you can enjoy all of their thousands of courses including mine. I have two that I've put on Skillshare on how to be a YouTuber and another on how to present to camera. So if you're interested in my thoughts on those things I have hours of in-depth tuition on Skillshare. So click on that link in the card and in the description to explore their massive library of courses today and get started learning and teaching with Skillshare. Thank you once again to Skillshare for sponsoring this epic video or at least I I hope it's going to be epic. It'll have an epic opening at least. You ready? Check this out! Whoa! Look at this! Oh my god, this is bigger than I anticipate. Obviously, bigger than I made room for. Okay. There we go. And still not enough room. Yeah. Yeah. These are grunts I didn't know I made. Put you down here. Yeah, yay. Bloody grass. <sighs> this is my giant piece of paper. <laughs> I'm gonna have trouble filling this whole thing, aren't I? All right, I'm gonna have some mercy on myself with this one. Normally when I do some sort of marker or ink challenge, I try and do it without pencil. However, just a couple of days ago, I tried doing a different unrelated ink sort of challenge that I never turned into anything because I kept stuffing up because I wasn't using a pencil. That was with a normal sized piece of paper. This is a giant piece of paper and I don't have many second chances. So I'm going to be using a bit of a thicker mechanical pencil to go through and ooh, it's broken. Great. Off to a good start. Just to sketch something as a little bit of a base just so I can get some proportions and all that stuff down. And then I'm gonna go into the Sharpies and fill the whole piece in. So I'm gonna start off with a sketchy bit and then I'll come back after I've got a bit of a design going on and uh, strategize. Let's go. Shit. I don't know what to do. I spent a good while at first trying to figure out what I was going to draw and while I knew it was going to be something with a dramatic perspective to make use of the scale I was working on, I just started off by drawing three perspective lines and brainstormed from there. I figured with a dramatic angle something dramatic must be happening so I began by sketching a character in the foreground running in terror from something and pointing up to the heights of the scene behind him. Around this point I started to notice a few smudge marks on the paper from my 
socks. So I figured the scene was gonna have to have a little bit of grit. So I dressed up the character in grubby medieval clothing and drew a giant castle and a city wall behind him. Of course, it then stood to reason that the calamity the man was running from would be a giant fire-breathing dragon attacking the city while perched on a cathedral. That felt fittingly epic, so ahead I went, filling the giant paper with fire, armies, buildings, and details. Okay, that's the first part of my master plan complete. Now comes sort of, you know, the main part the Sharpie part of the art. Let's get a start. I'm sorry, that was sad. Now moving forward, I'm gonna divide my mind in how I work on this thing because I actually only have a couple of hours left in the day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the broader areas, core silhouettes, shapes and outlines with this medium big boy. <laughs> And I'm going to go throughout the whole piece and just focus on the core shapes and silhouettes of the characters, the buildings and all that stuff. And then I'm going to go through with the big Sharpie and do all the stuff that needs to be filled in, shadings and shadows and silhouettes. And then I'll go through, last but not least, with the little Sharpie and go through all the details that I can fit in with the time that I have left. Bricks, scales, flames, all that stuff. Another thing I need to do, which I forgot would be a problem with an artwork that you're walking all over, is change my socks. Be grateful this isn't smell a vision schnoz tube. Do you have a thing for feet? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> and with these newly cleaned and washed socks, I will not step on anywhere but the canvas and hopefully won't make any more marks or smudges. Although it will probably pick up the, the gray lead and you know, graphite and make some smudges with that. Oh well, it's a fresh start either way. <laughs> Wow, here we have it, six hours later, and I am really sore. This was like an entire full body workout, a very mild full body workout, but you know, I, I feel like with all these challenges, I'm slowly proving that art can be an extreme sport. Please leave a like, my knees are sore, my wrists are sore from leaning on over the whole thing for six hours, please, please give me a like. <laughs> It's what I do this for. I really love the result. I hope you do too. And as many of you who have watched my videos for some time know that, uh, you know, I can't really help myself when it comes to medieval themes. So I, I sort of slipped back into the, that for this one. Now, if you enjoyed this result and you're looking to learn similar things, just wait, maybe not on like giant pieces of paper, but when it comes to art and animation and graphic design and things like that, Skillshare, who were the sponsor of this video, have an amazing place where you can go and learn today. These and many other things. There's a huge amount of content on there. I highly recommend it. And go check out my courses on there. I know you'll love them. I'll put a lot of work and time and effort into them. Once again, that link is in the card and in the description to go get your two months of free premium Skillshare membership that's limited to the first 1,000 people who use it and a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Subscribe to Draw With Jazz for more fun with art and creativity. I love doing ambitious and big things like this as well as some of the more predictable and fun, reliable stuff. It's just really fun to have fun with art and creativity. That's what this channel is all about. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazzer. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.